Hi everyone, this is guidance for the third quarter of 2016, so July through to September. So I'm just doing a general um, have a look at what's coming up in this um, three month period. So firstly, you're walking through doorways of change, great change. So have courage and faith that you are heading in the right direction and that you are going somewhere even if things have felt stagnant is what the angels are saying right now okay so that word stagnant i know some of you will really uh, it will be like a trigger word for you you'll know what i mean some of you are hovering in the doorway of change maybe sort of one foot in about um standing back a little bit um or fearful but just follow the light follow the the um the new energies will be leading you in a direction, okay? So these changes that you're going through are positive and this has happened for some time now and there's been various shifts and changes but there's particularly a new doorway being presented for you. This is the year of releasing energy, letting go of whatever no longer serves you, people, places, situations, jobs, relationships, um, old toxic things that are just um, built up in your energetic system that for some go to the point of affecting the physical body. Okay, so Archangel Michael is here now. His presence is ever strong and uh, he's saying to work on clearing your energy on a regular basis that this will help you more than even what you can possibly realize. Myself as an empath and energy sensitive to extreme levels at some times, I've learned this the hard way. I'm still learning all the time and um, I have definitely um, learned tools that have actually helped me a lot. So, And I'll be teaching you those tools um, as soon as I can put together an online course about it. So cut your cords um, and clear away anything that no longer serves you. So imagine right now, it's just a very simple basic level, okay? Just everything draining out of you, okay? Draining out of you and let the earth soak it up. Out, out, out and down into the earth and visualize that. So in your own time, spend time doing that. Release, release, release um, and let go. Karma's gonna come and bite you in the bottom <laughs> at times. So. Um, just be aware and know that there's um, a lot of energies, a lot of change, a lot of shifts happening. Just um, just know, just hang in there, you'll get through. What you're striving for is um, a better way of life, not just for yourself, but for the world. You're sensing things that are going on. Um, so you're reminded though, because you can get caught up in worry and stress to do with um, personal concerns, family, uh, work, money, um, yeah, the list is endless. So the angels are saying um, to try not to worry and, and just be in that state of peace more, um, that a smoother road is ahead. So to trust in that. Um, it does take time, it does take effort, um, and life is like a cycle. You've got to get through it. So um, it takes a lot of courage and it takes building. So if there's any goals or projects that you've been planning or thinking or even just sort of um, thinking about tossing around in your mind, just know that that takes time and dedicated effort to um, to kick in. And even if this is uh, your relationship or another aspect of your life. So take your time making any decisions um, and just don't rush into things. So detach and step back from the situation and then um, make your choice, follow your heart. The heart is a core, core, core thing. I actually got three cards which I'm relating together, or four. Yeah, look at all the green. So the green represents the heart chakra and then the heart chakra card there as well. Okay, so I've just used a few decks but um, it's by no coincidences that these come out. So what we're learning, growing, evolving um, into is our soul recon uh, reconnecting back to our soul's essence. And how do we do that? How do we connect with the divine? Through our heart. Um, science is now uh, finding out that there is like a, a brain in your heart, okay? And it is far more complicated um, and intelligent than we could ever fathom but you know the ancients knew this so actually I'm getting goosebumps right now okay so hopefully that will spark a, um, some uh, intuitive um, feelings for you so know that everything is um, when you come from a place of being heart-centered everything then will make sense and the 
vibration changes. It's like you enter another sphere of being, another reality. So just tap into that, tap into your psychic wisdom within you. Um, and there's a lot of energy for healing involved in this. So healing, and also I'm feeling healing of the emotions. Um, trust any psychic information that you receive for yourself, but that requires going in and trusting in the process and trusting in yourself. I'm feeling you're not trusting in yourself um, or your, your power, your self-power. So knowing that you are more than you present yourself to be or that you feel about yourself. Um, for some people, there might be a better course of action to take uh, or another road. For some of you uh, thinking of an entrepreneur, you know, being an entrepreneur or going in your own direction and for some maybe being alone is not the answer. Um, so there could be something better waiting for you but I'm feeling um, just holding back or some hesitation there but uh, Archangel Michael is coming through really strongly as a protective force um, and reminding you again energy healing, energy work, clear your energy. You're going through massive tr spiritual transformation and change so um, do your research, look into that. There's a lot of light coming in. So see the light in yourself and other people. Um, join together with others and make things come about by with some team effort with other people. And keep practicing um, because um, nothing comes by like automatically overnight. So keep practicing and working on your goals and your missions. Take a leap of faith and believe in yourself. Um, know that your children, those of you have children, they're watched over by heaven and the angels, these beautiful crystal children and, and indigos that are here in our world right now. Keep your eyes on your target. You are heading on the right path. You are on the right path now. Archangel Michael, very strongly there. Okay. Um, know that we all create situations in our life and we create our reality. And for some, that is um, hard to see. So the cycles of change you are in is now opening you up and breaking you free, breaking you open to um, move to a brighter future. Okay, namaste.